Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man tamasaka bi sunnatihi bi ihsan ila yawmiddin amma ba'd after praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending the salutations upon the messenger alayhi salatu wa salam and upon his family his companions and upon all those who follow upon his guidance into the establishment of the last day to proceed ya ikhwan fa nawasilu ma'akum fi hadhihi al-laylati al-mubarakah al-karima awnan min ar-rahman ar-rahim so today or tonight in this blessed and noble night of ours we continue Seeking the aid and the assistance of our Lord, the most merciful and the most compassionate. Mustafidina wa muta'allimina min kitabi, shaykhina wa imamina, Abi Ibrahim, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, al-Wasabi, al-Abdali, rahimahullahu ta'ala. So we continue reading from the words of our imam, one of our mashaykh, that we had the honor to benefit from there in the lands of Al-Yaman. The Shaykh Abu Ibrahim, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, Al Abdali, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, Ma'a Sharh, Min Shaykhina, Abi Abdullah, Al Masna'i, Hafidahullah, Wa Sallamahullah, Min Kuli Su'an, Wa Makru, Min Kuli Su'an, Wa Makru. And the explanation that we're reading from is from the words of our Shaykh Abu Abdullah Al Masna'i. And the explainer of this book, Ya Ikhwan, Abu Abdullah al Masna'i, he is from the students of Shaykh Muqbil and he's from the students of the author Al Wasabi, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. For inshallah Ta'ala, Liyum, Nantahi wa Naktafi, inshallah Ta'ala, bi Akhiri Sharutin min Shuruti, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha. Allah. So tonight, inshallah, we hope that we'll complete the final condition from the conditions of <coughs> none has the right to be worshipped except Allah. So condition number one, ya ikhwan, was what? Knowledge. First condition from the conditions of la ilaha Allah is knowledge. Al-ilmu bimada. Knowledge of what? When the scholars say, La ilaha illallah wa ashatul awwal ilam, ma huwa al-marad. When they say the first condition from the conditions of La ilaha illallah is knowledge. <coughs> what knowledge are they talking about? Knowledge of what? Knowledge of the Quran, knowledge of the Prophet. Something more specific. That's too vast. Uh, uh, that would be knowledge of Allah and um, His Lordship. That's too vast. You're similar to Sheikh Musa. Not knowledge general. We're talking about something. Nuridu shay'an mu'ayyina. We're talking about something specific. When you say la ilaha illallah, the first condition or from its conditions is al-ilm, knowledge. Knowledge of what? There's no God but Allah. A hey, knowledge of the meaning of la ilaha illallah. Okay. Knowledge of ma'ana la ilaha illallah. But that's important, yeah, and that's important. فكثير من الناس يقولون طيب من شروط لا إله الله العلم ولكن العلم عن ماذا؟ وهذا مهم. Many Muslims can say from the conditions of La ilaha illallah is knowledge. طيب, knowledge of what? And that's important. So the intent here, ya ikhwan, the intent when you say knowledge, the intent is knowledge of the meaning of La ilaha illallah. Al munafili madha, knowledge is an opposition of what? Ignorance. Ignorance. All right. Sent. al huwa al Condition number two was what? Acceptance. Condition number two was acceptance. al mada al munafil al-rudd. In opposition of rejection. Condition number two, acceptance. In opposition of rejection. al sharatu al sharatu al Condition number three, al-yaqeen, certainty, certainty. Al-munafili, al-shak, certainty is an opposition of doubt. First condition, knowledge. 
Second condition, al-qabul, acceptance. Third condition, al-yaqeen, certainty. Al-shartu al-rabi' condition number four, al-inqiyad, wal-istislam, surrenderance or submission. Surrenderance or submission. Al-munafi al-tarq, which is in opposition of abandonment or leaving. Wa al-sharatul khamis, condition number five was al-sidqu, truthfulness. Truthfulness. Condition number one, knowledge. Number two, acceptance. There's no order. This is just the tortip of the sheikh. Some scholars, bawa ba awalan al yaqeen. Some scholars say certainty is first. La dalil ala tortip. There's no proof for the ordering. Wa hada la yahmuna. And the ordering is not important. The most important thing is understanding all of them. This ordering here that we're reading from is the ordering of our Shaykh. If we have a book, maybe we'll oppose his ordering. When you write your book, maybe you'll oppose our ordering. The ordering is not important. So don't get caught up. Oh, number one. From the conditions is knowledge. From the conditions is certainty. From the conditions, acceptance. acceptance. From the conditions, it's not important to order. There's no hadith. لا يوجد آية من كتاب الله ولا حديث من حديث النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام يدل على ترتيب معين. على ترتيب معين. There's no verse from Al Fatiha to Surah Al Nas. And as far as we know, in our little estimation, there's no authentic hadith. I've never heard any of the ulama mention authentic hadith. From the authentic hadith of the Messenger والسلام, that shows that the ordering has to be Alif Ba Ta. Or the ordering has to be 1, 2, 3. Tay. al Sharatul Khamis, al Siddiqu, al Munafi, al Kadib. Condition number 5, according to our Shaykh al Wasabi, Rahim Allah, is truthfulness, which is in opposition of lying. Opposition of lying. Wa Sharatul Sadis, condition number 6, al Ikhlas. Sensitivity. MashaAllah. Kitab in ulama yabdawana bihada. Many scholars start with sincerity. And they have it also. Because that's the origin. Al Munafi li shirk. Wa nifaq. Wa riya. Sincerity is in opposition of what? Hypocrisy. And a shirk. And showing off. Seeking fame. وَأَشَرَطُ أَسَابِعِ انتَهَيْنَا بِهَذَا أَمْسِ أو قبل أمس and we learned number seven yesterday or the day before yesterday or so المُحَبَّة لهذه الكلمة number seven was love love of what love of this word لا إله إلا الله and in addition to loving the word ومَقْتَضَتُهُ and also loving whatever it requires you to love وَمَا دَلَتْ عَلَيْهِ and loving whatever it points Two, that you have to love. Wali ahliha. And loving its people. And that's important. Wa akhiru sharutin. In the last condition. In the al-imam al-wasabi rahimahallah. In the last condition according to our shaykh al-wasabi. Al-sharatu thamin al-kufru bi-tawagit. Condition number eight. Is disbelief in all of those false gods. Disbelief or disbelieving in all of those false deities. And that's important. A servant of Allah may know that this thing here or that thing or this thing is not a true deity. ولكن لا يكفر به but perhaps he does not disbelieve in it. A difference between this and that. Al-i'tiraf wal kufr. A difference between recognizing something and disbelieving in it. Al-faruku bayna hadha wa hadha. Fa shaykh yaqool al-kufr bil-tawagheed. So the shaykh says, Hafidh Allah, that you disbelieve or disbelief in all of those false tawagheed, those false deities. قَالَ وَهِيَا And what does it mean, those false deities? He says, الْمَعْبُودَاتُ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ 
He says, and they are all of those deities that is worshipped. Anything that is worshipped besides Allah. Anything that is worshipped besides Allah. Sualan, question number one. لماذا لا يقول الشيخ المعبودات? Why didn't the Sheikh say a taghut is anything that is worshipped? Why did he specify anything worshipped besides Allah? Sheikh Khalil, why did he specify? Uh, because we have to acknowledge that Allah hmm. is one okay. and that he is Lord and his okay. Lordship is power over everything okay. and that he is an exception to everything else. Okay, if you don't include Allah... You're talking about Allah also. إِذَا نَقُلْ مَثَلًا وَنَعُوذِ بِاللَّهِ If we were to say, may Allah forbid, الْتَوَغُوتْ أَوَ الْتَوَغِيتْ هِيَ الْمَعْبُودَاتِ وَنَتَوَقَّفْ كَفَرْنَا If we were to say, those false deities are everything that is worshipped, we just disbelieved in Allah. So you have to add Allah. Everything that is worshipped, دون Allah, besides Allah. So now this does not include Allah. You have to exclude Allah. You can't just say all of those, everything that is worshipped is false. You can't stop there. Then you say, Illa Allah, except Allah. Doon Allah, for example. Right? So that restriction or specification is important. And the person has to believe that Allah is his Lord. And his creator. And that Allah, as Shaykh Khalil said, that Allah is the true deity. Write this word down. Kalimatu al ilah. What does it mean when you say al ilah, a God or a deity? Al ulama yaqulun anna al anna al ilah huwa ayyu shay'in ubida. Ayyu shay'in ubida. First homework for tonight. I want you brothers to write this down ten times. What does it mean, ilah, a god, in Islam, a deity? It means anything that is worshipped. Or you can say any and everything is that is worshipped. Ilah is a god, a deity. وَالْمُسْلِمُونَ يَقُولُونَ أَنَّ هَذَا الَّذِي يُعْبَدْ دُونَ اللَّهِ لَا يَسْتِحِقُ الْعِبَادَةِ لَا يَسْتِحِقُ الْعِبَادَةِ But the Muslims, they come along. May Allah make us and you from amongst them. The Muslims, they come along and they say, although this cow is worshipped and although that rock is worshipped and although that husband, that sheikh, that sister, anything that is worshipped is worshipped. But it doesn't deserve to be worshipped. Al-ibra laysa bi an yu'bad. The proof is not that the thing is worshipped. Abadan. The proof is هَلْ هُوَ يَسْتَحِقُ الْعِبَادَةَ أَمْ لَا The proof is, does this thing deserve to be worshipped or not? فَمَعْنَ الْإِلَاهِ So the meaning of a God or a deity is أَيُّ شَيْءٍ عُبِدَ In and everything that is worshipped. In and everything that is worshipped. قَالَ الْإِمَامِ قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى Then he says, as Allah Ta'ala says, قَدْ قَدْ تَبَيَّنَ الرُّشْدُ مِنَ الْغَيْرِ فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالطَّاغُوتِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ اسْتَمْسَكَ بِالْعُرْوَةِ الْوُثْقَى لَنْ فِي صَامَلَهَا وَاللَّهُ سَمِيعٌ عَلِيمٌ وَاللَّهُ سَمِيعٌ عَلِيمٌ سورة البقرة He says, as Allah Ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, Al Verily, the guidance has been made distinctive from the falsehood. Allah so whoever disbelieves in those false gods and believes in Allah, kufr and iman. You have to disbelieve in those false deities and believe in Allah. So whoever disbelieves in those false deities and believes in Allah, he is the one that has grabbed handhold to the rope that will never break. Wallahu Samirun Alim and Allah is the all hearer and the all knower. Fashtarata Rabbuna Jalla fi Ula Liman Istam Saka bi Hadihil Urwa Sharataini Ifni. So Allah in this verse, you go back to Surah Al Baqarah, verse number two fifty six. Verse number two fifty six. 
Allah mentions two conditions. For the one that, grow, that grasps onto the rope of Allah, that will never break, two conditions. Al-Sharatul Awwal, Al-Kufr Bitaghit. Condition number one, he has to disbelieve in those false deities. فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالطَّغُوتِ Whoever disbelieves in those false deities. وَشَرَطُ ثَانِي الْإِيمَانُ بِاللَّهِ Condition number two, he has to believe in Allah. He has to believe in Allah. لَبُدَّ مِنْ اثْنِينَ It's a must that both of them have to be there. إِذَا لَعَبْدُ يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَلَا يَكْفُرْ بِالطَّغُوتِ وَبِالطَّغِيتِ وَبِالطَّغِيتِ لَنْ أَوْ مَاذَا لا يستمسك بهذه العروة الوثقى. So if the servant believes in Allah, but he does not disbelieve in those false deities, then he is never going to grab hold to this rope that will never break. لا بد من اثنين. It's a must that both have to be there. Is this rope they refer to here the same that the rope is referred to in the part and that Allah says hold on to the rope of Allah? Hey, same rope. Now, the scholars differ on بعض العلماء من أهل التفسير من المفسرين يختلفون في معنى هذه الحبل The scholars, they do differ on some of them The meaning is the same but they have different verbiage different terminologies of what's the intent of وعتسموا بحبل الله Hold on to the robe of Allah بعضهم يقولون حبل الله أو أن حبل الله الإسلام Rather sahih. Some of them say the rope of Allah is the religion of Al Islam. That's correct. Some say the rope of Allah is the Quran. He says here faith. Sahih. To believe in Allah. Then he is the one that grabs onto the rope of Allah. Some of them say the rope of Allah is La ilaha illallah. And that's how the shaykh is using it here. قال بعضهم أنه الكتاب والسنة. Some say it's the book of Allah and the Sunnah. المهم كل هذا الصحيح. And إن شاء الله when we get to tafsir you'll see that all of them is the same. They all do. Hey, they all different words that mean the same meaning. If I say, hey, you see my my beloved brother jihad. I say, you see my beloved brother. I'm talking to Sheikh Khalil. And then he says, who? I say, Sheikh Musa. He said, who's Sheikh Musa? I say, Brother Jihad. I just defined him. I just gave him three different names. I'm talking about the same person. My beloved brother, Sheikh Musa, Sheikh Jihad. So, Rope of Allah, Quran. Rope of Allah, Quran and Sunnah. Sunnah is from Quran. Rope of Allah, Al-Islam. Islam is made up of the Quran and Sunnah. Some say, La ilaha Allah. La ilaha Allah is made up of, or Islam is made up from, La ilaha Allah. Which is built upon the Quran and Sunnah. <laughs> so he's just saying the same thing in different ways. You get when we get to Tafsir, you see how many of the companions are saying the same exact thing. But the way they're saying it is different. But the meaning of what's being said is the same. Book of Allah, Book of Allah and the Sunnah. Sunnah. Same. The Islam is a Sunnah, Sunnah is Islam, as Imam al Barbahari he mentions in his Sharhu Sunnah. And neither one of them can be built without the other. <coughs> There's no sunnah without the book. The book of Allah, the sunnah is derived from the book of Allah. Islam is built upon Quran and Sunnah. La ilaha Allah is the meaning. It's the same. <laughs> so this is called mutaradif or mutaradifat, synonyms to one another. Ta'ib. Qal al-imam al-masna'i hafidhahullah. So the Imam in his commentary, our Shaykh Abu Abdullah al-Masna'i, he continues his commentary. قَالَ هَذَا شَرُطٌ مُهِمٌ جِدًّا He says this point here, this condition here, is extremely important here, Ikhwan. فَمَنْ أَكْثَرَ مِنْ يَدْعِي أَنَّهُ مِنْ أَهْلِ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَهُو مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ He says, for indeed, how many times do you see a Muslim claiming to be from the people of La ilaha illallah. But in reality, they are polytheists. al ibra ya ikhwan, laysa bi za'am, abadan, abadan. The proof is not upon who we claim, ever. Just because you say you're Muslim, doesn't mean you're Muslim, abadan, ever. 
Just because you say you're on the sunnah, doesn't mean you're on the sunnah, abadan. Just because you say you're with the jama'ah, doesn't mean you're with the people who are upon the truth. Al Islam lays a bizarre. Islam is never built upon claims, ever. Rubbama imanuka yukhalifu imana ahli la ilaha Allah. Perhaps what you believe, what you believe, is in contradiction of the people of the truth. So just because we claim it, doesn't mean we're upon it. You see, many brothers now get caught up in the names. How many lessons we mentioned? It's not about the names. You can't give me one proof from Quran and Sunnah. I challenge you. <laughs> not that I'm anyone, ya ikhwan. And Islam ahaqq wa an Islam has more right to be followed. Well, ahaqq wa ahaqq wa The truth has more right to be followed. I'll challenge myself also. We're all in together. We're all trying <laughs> to learn our religion collectively. لا توجد آية ولا حديث يجب على العبد أو أجب الله تعالى العبد أو أجب النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام على العبد أن يسمي نفسه أي اسم ما أي اسم ما There's no verse Go to the Quran Do your research From Al-Fatiha to Surah Al-Nas Go to Bukhari, go to Bukhari Muslim, Tirmidhi, Mawatta Al-Nasai You choose Examine those ahadith. There's not one verse where Allah is commanding the Muslims to, to call yourself any particular name. Allah named us Muslims. You don't have to call yourself anything. I'm Muslim. So am I. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Wa alaikum salam. We are your names, ya ikhwan, and we're, we're not obliged to call ourselves anything. But yes, a time may come where you may have to clarify. You say Allah. Those people say Allah. You say Muhammad, they say Muhammad. You say Jannah, they say Jannah. What's the difference? And then Allah and And then Perhaps a time may come where you may have to clarify. That happens from time to maybe, depending on where you live, your time period. A person may say, You brother say Allah, the nation of Islam, FOI. They say Allah. Mm -hmm. You brother say Muhammad. They say Muhammad. Y'all say Quran and Sunnah. They also say Quran and Sunnah. You say Jannah. They say Jannah. What's the difference? So you may have to sit them down. When we say Allah, we mean the creator of the heavens and the earth. Not a black man. <laughs> we don't say that. That's kufr. When we say Muhammad, we mean Muhammad ibn Abdullah al Qurashi. Alayhi salam. When they say Muhammad, they mean... Elijah Muhammad. When we say Jannah, we mean the Jannah, the reward of Allah and the hereafter. When they say the Jannah, they're talking about the riches in this life. Oh, in a spaceship. <laughs> when we say we turn to the Kaaba, we're talking about in Mecca. They say we turn to the first house that was the first masjid or mosque that was established in Chicago. So the same word, but the intents are different. When we say Tawheed, when the uh, khawarij, uh, when the Sufiya say Tawheed, same word, the intent is different. So you may have to, from time to time, clarify. No problem. Everyone says Quran and Sunnah nowadays. Everyone. You name the group. Whatever the group is, the Khawarij, Jahmiya, Jabariya, Qadariya, Mu'tazila, you name the group, Yekhwan. And you say, hey, what do you follow? They're going to say the book of Allah and the Sunnah. No one is going to say, I'm upon innovation. No one. No one is going to say that, Yekhwan. <laughs> the Jews and Christians, either su'ilu, if they're asked, what do you believe? They're not going to say batil. They're not going to say falsehood. Yeah, they're going to say, you guys are upon falsehood. They believe, everyone believes. What they're upon is the truth. وَلَكِنَّ الْإِسْلَامِ لَا يُبْنَ عَلَى زَعَمْ أَبَدًا But Islam is never built upon claims. Never. عِنْدِنَا الْكِتَابِ بِحَمْدَ اللَّهِ وَعِنْدِنَا السُنَّةِ بِحَمْدَ اللَّهِ وَعِنْدَنَا فَهَمُوا أَصَحَابَةِ وَنَقُولْ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ We have the book of Allah. We have the sunnah of the messenger of Allah. And we have the understanding of those who are around the Prophet alayhi sallallahu alayhi sallam. وَعَلَيْنِ أَنْ نَحْمَدَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى لِهَذَا And we have to praise Allah for that. لِأَنَّ بِدُونِ هَذَا Because without that, 
أي عبد يمكن أن يأتي بآية أو حديث وبفهم من فهمه هو وهذا خطأ because without referring it back to what the companions understood any person can come and mention an ayah and say what the verse means to me <laughs> he can come with a hadith and says like the Christians what the hadith means to me the Muslim can't do that the Muslim says who, are, who am I? no let's see what the companions understood let's see what Aisha understood so when the Muslim comes and says Allah is everywhere don't get offended yet Jalishu, sit him down. Natakala ma'a, talk with him. Rupa manashtari lahu shai. Wal kahwa. Maybe you gotta get him some tea or coffee sometime. A donut. Cheese steak if he's from Philly. A piece if he's from Camden. Not bad. What do you guys like the most? Cheese steak. Cheese steak too. Y'all copy Philly. Cheese steak also. You sit him down. Tayyib yaki. Anta taqul anna Allah ta'ala fi kuli makan. La bat. Sanandur. Aina hadha. في كتاب الله تجدوه وأنا معك. You sit him down. He says, Allah is everywhere. It's okay, calm down, yeah. I'm your brother. If you're right, I'm with you. Show me where Allah says that in the Quran. He's gonna come across the verse in Surah Al Taha. Huh? He thinks he he's, he's correct. He said no, 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 no. Now you have to make sure you're understanding this ayah the way Aisha, Abu Bakr, Um Salama, Anas. Abu Hurairah, Uthman, Ali, Umar, the way they understood it. They didn't understand this verse to mean Allah's everywhere. So if you're understanding, you khalifu fahma sahaba fa anta akhtata. So if your understanding opposes the understanding of the companions, then sadly to say, my beloved brother, you're wrong. Hata ana, hata kulana, even myself, even all of us. And in al kitab, wa sunnah, wa fahmu sahaba. We have the book of Allah and the Quran and the understanding of the companions. Fi ayya mas'alatin ma is'alu anfusakum hadha or hadihi al as'ila. Any issue you're talking about or doing research on or have some doubt about, ask yourself these questions. Hal huwa min kitab Allah, min sunnati Rasulullah, min fahmi al sahaba. Is this affair from the book of Allah? Is it from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah? And did the companions understand it like this? If so, I'm with you. If not, who's right? The campaigns are right. And we're wrong. And this is the problem of today. Nobody wants to sit down and examine and see. We're afraid to be shown up or we're afraid to be wrong in front of the people. But the Muslims should want to be wrong in front of the people and be afraid of being wrong in front of Allah. Allah. I'd rather be wrong today in front of my peers, my family, my companions, my brothers. And then stand in front of Allah Ta'ala. La, I'll be wrong in the dunya. As long as you're alive, you can retract. I used to say, such and such and such and such. Now the Quran and Sunnah has corrected me by Allah's mercy. The correct is such and such and such and such. Alhamdulillah. The issue is not that you were wrong. The issue is that, Al-Haqqu kana mamaka wa anta ma raja'ta ilayhi. wal ithim. The problem is not that you were wrong, ya akhi. Who does not make an error from time to time? The problem is that you were wrong. And the truth was right in front of you, and you did not return back to it. Now this is blaming. And this is how many of the great imams were. If they realized they were wrong in an issue, if they were wrong, not you oppose my sheikh, not the stuff we're on today, none of that. <laughs> you were wrong. Like what Shaykh they mean, one time he was wrong, Rahim Allah. When he did this, رَفَعَ نَفْسَهُ فِي شَأْنِ إِلَيْهِ فِي هَذِهِ الدُّنْيَا when I heard the Imam did this, my love for him increased. Rubbama akhtu afi mas'alatin ma fil aqida. And the issue of belief, the great Udaymin, Rahim Allah, made a mistake. Made a mistake. It was a mistake. Wa huwa kana haqqa khata'in. And it was a true mistake. Wa a shaykh al tuwayji Rahim Allah, bayyana lil Imam anhu akhtu afi mas'alatin ma. And then the great Imam al tuwayji, or another shaykh tuwayji. Clarify to the Shaykh, Ya Shaykh, you made a mistake here. Shaykh said, Mother Qultu, what did I say? What do you mean? Show me. One of the most humblest men you're ever going to meet in your life. He said, Fi Sharhika, Fi Usulat Alatha, or Fi Aqid Wasitiya, Anta Qulta, Fi Ma'iyat Allah, and Allah Ta'ala, Alal Ard, or Kalaman, Mithla Hava. The scholar said, Oh Shaykh, when you explain either Usulat Alatha, 
or Aqidah Wasutiyah, one of the Aqidah books, you said, when you mentioned that Allah being with the servant, you said this means Allah is with them on the earth. Shaykh said, I know, Qultu Hadha? He said, he knew that was wrong. He said, I said that? I know, Qultu Hadha? I said that? The Shaykh said, yes. Qala bayyan li. He said, show me, show me where I said that at. And he showed the Shaykh, oh, fi hadha al-kitab, ya Shaykh, anta Qultu Kadha wa Kadha. And the Shaykh nadara, looked at it, wa sawwaba, and he corrected it. Thumma qala lahu, ana uriduka fi muqaddamatika, an tukhbira, an tukhbira nasa, an hadha al-hasan. And hadha al-hasan. So he said, when you write your introduction of this book, your commentary, I want you to write that this took place. Mm -hmm. Don't hide that I made an error. No. Mm -hmm. I want you to show the people. Show them. I said such and such. You brought it to my, my attention. I corrected it. That's a true Sunni, true Salafi, true Athari, true scholar, Yehwa. Many of us are so afraid to be wrong. La, la, la. We're supposed to be wrong in front of the people so that we can correct it. So we can transverse upon the correct. Not be wrong thinking we're somebody with our three little hadith that we only learn, that our kids learn in grade school, and we think that we're somebody. No, yeah. If you make a mistake and it's a true mistake, be the first one to thank the brother. Allah, shukran ya khi And that's how our scholars were. And the shaykh, they, they would say usually in any of their books or talks, hey, you students of knowledge, or other than you, if you find that I made an error, I'll be the first one to welcome you. I'm Muslim. We're all humble. That's humbleness, yeah. We're all humble. Who's, who's afraid they're going to make an error? Yeah. When you receive <coughs> the message of Allah in the salah, mm -hmm. we're not like the Sufiya, Alhamdulillah, who say that Nabi Alayhi is al No. We don't say that the Prophet is not from Bani Adam. He's from Bani Adam. Tala'a or Tala Nabi Alayhi Sallallahu Salam Salatan wa akhtu'a fi qira'a. One time the Messenger of Allah was leading the people in the prayer and he made a mistake reading. And one of the companions said, Ya Rasulullah, hal qusirat al salah aw nusita? And the companion said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, was the shalat, salah shortened or, or something? Did you make an error or did you forget or something like that? The Messenger of Allah said, no, the so prayer wasn't shortened, nor did I forget. And then the Prophet said to him, after he clarified, and then the Prophet brought another principle. He said, is what he's saying correct? He asked the other companions, bringing us another principle. Is, is what he's saying right? Yes. And then the Prophet said to Ubay ibn Ka'ab, why didn't you correct me? Hmm. For example, show the Prophet is a Prophet alayhi salatu salam. He's a human. We're not those that say that he's from the Malaika. We don't say that. We say as Allah Ta'ala said about the Prophet, as the Prophet said about himself, what the companions understood in form. قال الإمام فما أكثر من يدعي أنه من أهل لا إله إلا الله وهو من المشركين. He says, for how many times do you find a person claiming to be from the people of لا إله إلا الله but in reality is from the polytheists. He says, قال قرامطة الباطنية وغلاة الرافضة والصوفية والبابية والقادنية والنصرانية والمكارمة وغيرهم. And then he mentioned different groups. He says like this group and that group, the extreme Rafidah, like the Sufiya, like al Qadiriani, like al Nasraniya, and this group and that group. And other than them, Mimman Yadri Al Islam, those that claim to be in the religion of Al Islam, followers of Al Islam, Wal Islam Bari Minhum. But he says in reality, although they claim to be from the Muslims, Islam is free from them. Islam is free from them. لِعَدَمِ بَرَاءَتِهِمْ He says, so Islam is free from them. لِعَدَمِ بَرَاءَتِهِمْ وَكُفْرِهِمْ بِطَاغُوتِ Because they did not disassociate themselves from and they did not disbelieve in those false deities. قَالَ الشَّيْكْ سُلِيمَانِ رَحِيمُهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى قَالَ بُنُ قَيَّمْ And then the Imam says that the Imam Sulaiman mentioned one day that Ibn Qayyim said, Al-Taghutu ma tajawaza bihla abda haddahu min ma'aboodin aw masbu'in aw muta'in. Ibn Qayyim defines Taghut with a detailed definition. Some scholars make it general. They say a Taghut 
is any and every false deity. Ibn al-Qayyim has a, a more detailed definition. He says, al taghut is any servant that goes beyond the limits of an Islam with regards to being worshipped and with regards to being followed and with regards to being obeyed. Any servant that goes beyond the limits claiming to be a deity. He says he goes beyond the limits with regards to being worshipped or being followed or being obeyed. This one is a taghut. What about the verse that comes in Surah to An-Nahal where Allah Ta'ala says and worship Allah and stay away from those false deities. He says He says this means that you worship Allah and Allah alone and you leave off the worship of everything besides Allah. In this ayah is the, the meaning of La ilaha illallah. When you say I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah, you're disbelieving in all of those deities besides Allah, besides Allah. And you're acknowledging and affirming that the only deity that deserves to be worshipped is Allah and Allah alone. And the last part of today, Ikhwan, La ilaha Allah has two components. <coughs> two tremendous components. An nafyu wal ithbat. Negation and an affirmation. A negation and an affirmation. Kama tadammanatu la ilaha Allah. He says, just as La ilaha Allah includes. So just as in this ayah where Allah Ta'ala says worship Allah, this is the affirmation. And when he says and stay away from those false deities, this is the negation. So La ilaha Allah has a negation. And La ilaha Allah has an affirmation. And they both have to be there. If a person says, I disbelieve in every deity, he's an atheist. If he says La ilaha, there's no God. And he stops there, he's a mulhid, he's an atheist. If he says, uh, he worships everything, <laughs> he's a polytheist. So you have to have both. La ilaha, negation. There's no deity at all. Illa Allah, except for Allah. Affirmation. Not to walk up for now. What's that for you, Anything that we said that's correct is from Allah. Anything that we said that's incorrect is from ourselves. And then the next chapter is going to be the requirements of La ilaha illallah. And then it goes into the meaning of, La ilaha, of Muhammad Rasulullah. And then the conditions of Muhammad Rasulullah. Now, Seven conditions or eight conditions? The scholars differ. That's another point, man. I reward you, Sheikh Musa. Now, 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 the reason why I'm asking is because. Is it submission? Yes, uh, that was, hmm? we mentioned that. In Qiyah, what's this now? Yeah, we mentioned that. Now, the point you can remember, the ordering or the arrangement may differ from scholar to scholar. Mm -hmm. And the adad and the number may differ from scholar to scholar. Mm -hmm. That's correct. At any rate, the reason the numbering differs is because some scholars are more usuli, are more tafsili. They are more detailed, if I can say that. <laughs> Imam Anawi says, Shurutu Tawbah Thalatha. He says, Imam Anawi, the great Imam Anawi, mm -hmm. the conditions of repentance are three. Imam Al Uthaymeen, Dakara Ashara or Tisa'a. Imam Al Uthaymeen comes and he says there are nine or ten. He's more detailed, he's chopping it down more. So sometimes the number, once again, they differ because. These two here, this shaykh chopped them down and separated them. Mm -hmm. While this shaykh said they're almost the same, for example. So, for example, submission. Some scholars say, al Islam, submission. Some say, al Inqiyad, wal Islam, so we. Also, what? Some scholars say submission and surrenderance is the same, which is true. 
Some scholars say, no, in my opinion, it's the Islam. Submission is one thing. Well, in Qiyad, it's something else. But it's basically the same thing. Submission and surrenderance. Mm -hmm. So for them, it's going to be one more. And for them, it's going to be one less. Yeah. I give another benefit. The same author that wrote this book, in his newer one, before he passed away, Rahim Allah, although he wrote the book, he kept adding to it, and adding to it, and adding to it. If I show you the first book, the first book is like this big. <laughs> and now you see what we have today. He kept adding, he kept adding, he kept adding. He went back and added another condition to the condition of La ilaha Allah. We mentioned that last week. And that is that you have to say it. In this printing that we have here, he doesn't mention that one. Mm -hmm. In another printing, he adds to it, the newer one. And he says that you have to say it for the one that has a tongue that can say it. My point is, the numbering may differ from sheikh to sheikh. Sheikh Bey mentions seven, I believe. Sheikh Udemi mentions nine. Our sheikh in one copy mentions eight. His new copy, he mentions nine. At any rate, so the numbering may differ. Especially if the scholar is more tafsiri, if he's more detaily. Like Sheikh Udemi mentions, what's an example, Yekhwan? When he says, Tawheed al rububiyyah What is Tawheed al rububiyyah Most scholars say, in general, to single out Allah in all of Allah's actions. Which is true. Sheikh Udemi focuses on three. He says to single out Allah in three things. So my point is, some scholars are more tafsili and some are more general. So don't get caught up in the numbers, especially the arranging. You know? That's not, hey, if you notice, there's no proof that says knowledge has to come first. You can say sincerity is first. That's fine. You can say al kufr is last. You can say kufr is first. It's no ordering. It's no ordering. All of them will come from the hadith and the sunnah. So if our brothers and sisters online, we'll stop there. Wa nawasilu ma'akum ghadan inshallah. The homework was one word, the word ilah. It means everything that is worship. Everything or anything that is worship. Is a ilah, is a deity. I want you to write that down ten times. And inshallah ta'ala, hopefully tomorrow we will complete the remaining of the condition of la ilaha Allah. And then we go to the conditions of Muhammad Rasulullah. You know. Bookmarking. Yeah, my family made those. I, 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 I love this. May Allah bless you.